In this session, we'll learn how to create a BIM 360 project. As you can see, I have BIM 360 docs open. I'm in the JWB Engineering account within the Wyoming Site project. To create a new project, I'll start by opening the module selector. When I do, notice that there are two administrative modules in here. Project Admin allows you to manage the properties and settings of the current project. Account Admin allows you to manage the properties and settings of the overall account. The fact that I can see both of these modules means that I have administrative control over this project, and I'm also considered an administrator for the overall JWB engineering account. Now, new projects are created at the account level, so I'll open the account admin module. Right here, you can see BIM 360 makes it very easy to see which module is open. Here at the account level, projects is selected. Down below, we can see all of the projects that are within this account. As long as we're here, notice that we can also see the number of members and companies associated with each project. We can also see the project status and the date of the last sign-in. To create a new project, I'll click the Add button. I can then fill out the project profile. Note that I do not have to fill out all of these values at this time. The only entries required at the time of creation are the ones containing an asterisk. I'll start by clicking in the Project Name field. Let's assume that we're working on a subdivision project called Kensington Square. I can then select the project type. If I click in this field, I can choose a type from the predefined list, or I can enter my own type. For this example, I'll type subdivision and press enter. I can then choose a project image. This would be used as the icon for the project. We can see some of those over here. I'm going to click browse, and then I'm going to jump into this images folder, and I'll select this image, and I'll click open. Next, I'll enter the address where the project is located, We'll say that this project is near South Brunswick Avenue in Springfield, Missouri. This site is in the central time zone. Finally, I'll select a project start date. For this example, I'll choose August 11th. And for the end date, I'm going to give myself a year to finish this project. Note that this is just a projected end date. It won't hurt anything if this date isn't precise. I will then drag down and choose Save and Continue. Once the project profile has been created, I can then activate BIM 360 services for this project. The number of services that you see in this list will depend on your BIM 360 subscription. For this example, I'm going to activate the Document Management Service, or BIM 360 Docs. Remember that BIM 360 Docs represents a directory structure. I can create those directories from scratch if I want to, or if I open this menu, I can select a directory structure from a previous project. Since we'll be looking at folder creation in a little bit, I'm going to keep the default empty setting here. Now, whenever a service is activated, you'll need to assign an administrator. You can do that by entering their name or email address. I'm going to assign myself as administrator in this case. I will then enter the company name and I'll click Save. Anyone assigned as an administrator will then receive an email inviting them to the project. Note that we can have additional administrators if we like. Administrators can also add additional administrators later if needed. At this point, I can see the Document Management Service is active for this project, so I'm going to drag down to the bottom of the screen and click Finish. And as you can see, the new project now appears in the overall list of projects associated with the account. Now, rather than waiting for my email invitation to join the project, I can actually jump into the project from here. I'll simply click the project name. This takes me to the Project Admin module for this project. If I click the module selector, you can see that's where we are. As long as we're here, notice that at the project admin level, I can see the members associated with this project and the companies. I can see the services that have been activated for this project. This is where I would activate additional services if I wanted to, or view the admins associated with each service. Selecting the profile area, I can review the project data that I entered. Note that there is also an edit option in the event I'd like to make any changes to the information. One more thing, let's go back to the module selector, and I'll choose Project Home. Project Home represents a nice dashboard for each project. Here we can see the account, we can see the icon associated with the project, as well as the project name, anticipated start and end dates. Since the profile included an address, we have a nice project location map here. We can also see the current and expected weather at the project site. On the right side of the dashboard, we would find an up-to-date list of project issues. After reviewing the Project Home module, we can return to BIM 360 Docs by clicking the Module Selector and choosing Document Management, where we can see that we have a brand new project directory structure. 
Now that my new project has been created, I'm ready to upload a PDF plan set so I can start collaborating with all the stakeholders associated with my project. We'll do that in the next session. Would you like to explore additional Autodesk Cloud Collaborative ideas and workflows? If so, please visit the AEC Connection blog by scanning the QR code or by following the URL listed below.